Hello there, child of God. Welcome to a new week in our month of development. It is a new week and we bless God for it. And this week, I want to talk to you about the purpose of your election. The purpose of your election. The purpose why God has elected you into his kingdom. Why he has chosen you for such a time as this. In the place where you live geographically. In the, in the place where you work why he chose you in, in your sphere of influence where he puts you where you are today the purpose of your election why why you are in the kingdom and that is for you to be fruitful god wants you to be fruitful god wants you to increase god wants you to grow god wants you to develop to not stay the same there has to be a marked difference in your life in the way you lived your life in the last season to the, um, to the way you're living your life in this new season that you're in. Hallelujah. We are going from glory to glory. We are going from grace to grace. We are growing exponentially. We are developing. Hallelujah. So our anchor scripture for this week is found in the book of John chapter 15 verse 16 where Jesus is telling us, he's saying, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit fruit that will last and so that whatever you ask in my name the father will give you this scripture is so self-explanatory let's have a look at it again jesus is saying you did not choose me you did not choose me don't get it twisted that you give your life to jesus doesn't mean that you chose jesus he chose you because without his spirit, you couldn't have given your life to Jesus. He chose you for such a time as this. He said, you did not choose me. You did not call me. I called you. You didn't choose me. You didn't elect me. I elected you. And why did I choose you? He said, I chose you. He said, I appointed you. Why? So that you might go and bear fruit. Fruit that will last. That is why I chose you. That is why I elected you. That is why I appointed you. I chose you. I appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit. And fruit that will last. Hallelujah. His power in your life will cause the fruits that you are bearing to last. Okay. So it's just to, to awaken your awareness once again to this fact. So the fact that you are not here, you're not called to be idle. You have a job to do for God in your marriage, within your marriage, within your family. You have to represent him. You have to bear fruit. You have to be productive. Hallelujah. You have to be fruitful. Your life has to have meaning. Don't ever listen to anyone that says that your life can never have meaning. The devil is a liar. Your life must have a meaning because the Lord himself chose you. He appointed you and he gave you the gifts, the skills, the abilities, the talents for you to grow and develop for you to be fruitful hallelujah remember in the book of genesis when god created us he said be fruitful when he created adam and eve which is obviously us today he says be fruitful and multiply replenish the earth and subdue it his original intention is his final decision. He hasn't changed his mind. Jesus is, of, is confirming that, is affirming that assignment, that mandate in this scripture that I called you, I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. That is why I called you. That is why I chose you. That is why I appointed you. This is the purpose of your election for you to be fruitful. And it says that, and so that whatever you ask, my father in my name will be given to you whatever you ask in my name the father will give to you it means that the father will resource you the resources of heaven are available to you you are not alone what do you need for you to be fruitful what do you need for you to be productive what do you need for you to grow and develop in the in the things that god in your assignment that god has assigned to you in the things that god has assigned to you what are the things you you need the lord says that if you ask the father he will give it to you whatever it is do you need wisdom do you need direction do you need inspiration he, the holy spirit is there to inspire you the holy spirit is there to to counsel you hallelujah so that you can make progressive achievements in your life so that you can grow so that you can develop he is calling you to to a higher level 
in this season the lord is calling you to a higher level all the resources of heaven are available to you even if it is financial resources that you need the bible says that the earth is the lord's and the fullness of it the world and those who dwell in it the lord will cause the resources the financial resources to come to you it doesn't matter whose hands it, it is in the lord will cause them to bring it to you the lord will orchestrate your meeting your alignment with whoever it is that has your resources in their hands you can't make things happen for yourself only god can do it but when we when we submit to his uh, to his instructions to us that and we get up and we begin to do what he has called us to do we have to trust him that he will do his own part because he's saying that the reason why i called you and appointed you is so that you can bear fruit okay it's so that you can bear fruit he wants you to be fruitful and he say whatever you ask the father in my name will be given to you the father will give it to you the father will support you i pray for you as you go into this week in the name of jesus christ that every resource that you need to fulfill your purpose every resource that you need to fulfill your assignment every resource that you need in order for you to be fruitful the lord will make it available to you in the name of jesus christ you will not lack in Jesus' name, you will not lack financial resources. You will not lack people to come and help you. You will not lack um, wisdom. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will not lack inspiration. In Jesus' mighty name, whatever you ask the Father in this week will be given unto you. In the name of Jesus. So I, 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 I um, encourage you today to remember the purpose of your election. Don't allow the things that are going on in your life at the moment that may not align with your assignment don't allow them to distract you don't allow anger to distract you don't allow anybody to annoy you to the point that you are distracted don't allow any challenge any life's challenge to distract you stay focused on your assignment okay and remind yourself that the lord chose me to go and bear fruit i must be fruitful and you will be fruitful in the name of jesus so go out there and bear fruit. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. Shalom.